Hello! Have you ever been to a store where you fully intended to buy only one thing and then end up with an entire bag of things? Well, that just happened to me! <laughs> I have a whole bunch of stuff from here and I'm going to open this bag so we can see what have I bought this time. Let's get into it! A whole year ago, I posted a video that was an art haul from this store, Creative Dreams, and they actually were closing down. The store did close because it had run out of its lease and they didn't want to extend their lease because the prices had gone up and it was getting really expensive. The store owner decided to close it down, but during all of the lockdowns last year, she found another lease in almost the same place, it's in the same shopping area, and so she's reopened Creative Dreams and I had to go in there to check it out. But there was one particular item that she had in stock that I have not been able to find anywhere else in Melbourne. So I will show you that first and then I will show you all the other impulse items that I bought. So here's the item that I actually went there for. It is Ranger Archival Ink Re-Inker in Jet Black for my stamp pad that I have. Here's the actual stamp pad. It's gone pretty dry, so with the re-inker you basically just squirt some more in and then the pad is good to go. I've never done this before so I hope I don't make a huge mess of it. This is such a great ink pad that ink does not move once it is dry. It's waterproof and it is perfect for swatching. And I have these waffle flower swatch stamps. I've used this one a little bit, but then my pad just decided to completely dry up. So I haven't even had a chance to try the others out yet, but I'm very happy. I finally managed to get some of this because it was on Amazon, but it was coming from the USA. So there was expensive postage and it was just going to take months to get here. So I was very happy to find a store that actually had it in stock in Melbourne, not far from where I live. Hooray! Creative Dreams also stocks the stamp pads, but I didn't really want to buy a second one, I just want to reuse this one. And I did, however, get another stamp pad, and this is in a grey ink, shadow grey, because sometimes I want to make a stamp that's not as dark as a black outlined one, so I thought this would be fun to try out. I don't have a re-inker for this yet, they didn't have any in stock, but I will be keeping an eye out to get a re-inker bottle like this, and I'm hoping this will last quite a few applications in the stamp pad itself. So I thought I might as well get a grey one. They do also have lots of other colours, but I am trying very hard to not buy all of them. I just want some plain outlines, and I thought a grey one would be handy to have. I picked up another little tool. It's a die release tool. I don't even have any type of Cricut or anything to use dies with but the reason I got this is because it's got that little spatula and those are so handy for mixing. I've seen a few other people using a spatula like this and I thought it would be great to pick one up for myself and the pointy ends are always useful for poking at things so these are always handy to have in the studio. This was, I think, about $3.50, something like that, and so I thought it would be useful. Look, it even says it's a handy tool. They had some stamps, and I picked this up for the flamingo. There's a reason for that. One of my friends is absolutely obsessed with flamingos, so I thought I might use this to make a card for her at a later date, and also because I am decorating something in my arts journal, which I haven't yet shown you. I might do once I've finished it, but I'm just working on that separately. I do quite a few things off camera, but some of the things I haven't actually shown yet, I might do an art journaling page one day on camera. At the moment, it's just something I do as a little hobby. Be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons, that one does amuse me. Keep a palm and carry on. I bought one piece of scrapbook paper, mostly because I really like the cat and that Christmas tree. It is a Christmas themed one, but I thought I would use this probably for Christmas this coming year and I just think some of them are really cute so not all of them are necessarily Christmas themed but I would like to maybe add some of these into my art journal. I just really like this piece of paper it caught my eye and on the back it is double sided but it's just a fairly plain design on the back so I have no qualms about cutting that side up. So Creative Dreams is still in the process of restocking and getting things shipped from overseas. It's a very long and painful process because the shipping is just so slow at the moment. But they also had quite a few things that were just on clearance and of course I couldn't resist getting a couple of sticker books. This one which is by the company Kaisercraft that is an Australian company I'm pretty sure. And also this one as well which is Kaiser style. So 
I just grabbed these and I'm going to open them so we can see what's inside. As you can see, I haven't really opened them. I just bought them sight unseen, really, because I can't resist sticker books. But going on to the back of it, it looks like there might be some nice things that I would use. So this sticker book is for planners and things like that. It says gold foil accents, but when I looked through, I do not see anything with gold foil on it. So, uh, but it's basically little stickers like this and things that you would put in your planners, reminders, to-dos, motivational quotes and other things like that. I'm not sure how many of these I'll use but occasionally I do like to put stickers in my planners when I actually use my planners. I go through phases with them. Sometimes I'll use them every day and then other months I just can't be bothered. So yes I'm not great with planners but I do quite like these stickers. I mean they were on clearance so I'm sure I will find a use for some of them at least. And then this one says Enchanted sticker book. 12 pages with 6 designs. Oh these are quite nice. Oh yeah, okay, so it is what they say. There's two pages of each design. So that's the second design. More poppy flowers. Which kind of looks similar to these, so I'm guessing it's a themed sticker book. And the usual sorts of platitudes that we tend to see in these sticker things. I might use some of them and other ones I don't know, but they're quite nice. I like that one. Yeah, so just a couple of sticker books to add into my gigantic sticker book collection. There was a glitter bin and I couldn't resist them. I just think these are really pretty colours and I would put those together. Look, they're Martha Stewart crafts. I just picked up these. They had some other colours, but these were the ones that I thought would be quite nice. I'm kind of seeing almost like a beach scene or something with them, so I have ideas with what I'm going to do with some of this glitter. I don't really need more glitter, but <laughs> there we go. And then there were these things that were mostly on sale as well. They are Project Life, but by Becky Higgins, and so of course I saw Becky and just had to get some of these. They are little project cards and little journaling cards, but I just thought these could be really fun to use. So I'm just going to open one and see what they're like. My scissors that are always on hand for this exact function. They're little cards, they've got a grid pattern on them, I think. They're actually a little bit thinner than I was hoping for, but I am sure I can find a use for these. I ended up getting two boxes because they were on sale and I don't even know what I'm going to do with them, but it's very hard to resist little cards that are already pre-cut and they just look so aesthetically pleasing. Some larger ones that have lines on them and then some other square cards with the grids on there. And the last thing I got, which I picked up right at the end, is a glass mat for mixed media. So it's one of those tempered glass things and it's got little feet. It's still in its packaging, so I'll undo it out of there. That's so shiny, but I really like it. I mean, you could probably get one of those kitchen ones as well, but I just took a fancy to this and I think it might be useful for certain projects where I just don't want to work on this backdrop. Total impulse, but I'm kind of glad I got it. It's a nice size and it's pretty heavy too, so I've been wanting a piece of tempered glass. This would be great for mixing paint on as well, like oil paint or acrylics, so I may even end up using it for that. And a couple of other bonus items that I got, not from Creative Dreams, but from Costco. One of them was the set of paint pens by Pilot Pintor. I've used a couple of them. I have a black and a white and I like them, so I figured I might get the colours. And these scissors are getting seriously blunt and I do need to sharpen them, but just in case I can't get them to sharpen nicely, I got a set with some new scissors. It's got a cutting knife, a trimmer and a square cutting mat also from Costco, so <laughs> I just took a liking to that, so that went in the basket too. Ah, oh, Costco's a dangerous place, I tell you. So here we have it, all of the things I got from Creative Dreams, not the things from Costco. I've just left those to one side because those are not going to fit on here. So, a successful shopping trip for some re -inker. and um, yeah, all this other stuff which I completely needed. <laughs> anyway, I had fun and I am looking forward to figuring out something 
something to do with these journaling cards. I'm sure I will have fun sticking some of these stickers into my planner and all of that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Totally unplanned. I was not expecting to get more than one thing, but here we go. A whole bunch of things. I'm happy that Creative Dreams Paper Crafts is now back in action. I will see you all again really soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. And I will see you all again really soon. Swatch you later. Bye.